Okay, right. We are now going to do a tin foil print um, of our line drawing, which I'm hoping you have all done in the style of Mark Powell, which is really exciting. So you should all have your drawings and your sketchbook nicely presented, I hope. Um, done in Barrow, time and care spent on them. Remember, quality is better than quantity. Right, so you have your, you have your drawing. Then you're going to need some tin foil, which I hope will... Why when I do these videos, do I always drop my pen? But I think that's probably like when I'm doing a demonstration in the classroom. So pen, borrow, tin foil, which I've just cut to here, and then you'll need a piece of card. I've actually um, got one that's um, that was on the backing, something that came in the post. It's quite good if the card is flat. Um, I did do a print yesterday and the card was a little bit bumpy and that then showed in the print which adds, I could, you could say it adds a really good element but I think I'm going to go back to the flatter card. So a piece of card, look it's just um, it's card cut into A5 size, okay A5. The other so you're going to need some tin foil which needs to be bigger, which needs to be larger than the tin foil and then um, I've cut myself lots of A5 pieces of paper. Um, it is better if it's cartridge paper, but I know you're at home and it's difficult getting hold of things. If you've got any um, old sketchbooks, um, you know, that you've got lying around, something like that would be really good because um, it's just a little bit, little bit thicker. But hey, have a go with um, normal paper, just photocopy paper or wh whatever you have. Have a go, you might get some amazing results and, you'll, and that would work as well. Because it's all about experimenting now and having fun. We've done our drawing, we're going to have lots of fun now. Okay, so what you do is you take your piece of card, put my drawing out of the way, because I am going to need to look at it, I'll do that in a minute. Pop it, pop it onto the tin foil. Um, I'm going to have it non-shiny side up non shiny side up. I found the shiny side um, when we come to the next bit it doesn't the the ink doesn't adhere so well to so non shining side up so if we turn it like this the shiny side place place the piece of card on and then you fold it like a parcel nice and flat nice and flat you see so I've wrapped it I've wrapped it up and then I've got the flat bit. Try not to touch this too much, um, just because it gets a bit greasy and that will affect um, when you print. So just try not to touch it too much. So we've got an, it here. That is now what I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw my drawing. I'm going to copy from my own drawing onto here because I want to. I want to think about the marks I've made. You know, this lovely mark making. So I'm going to try and get some of that into this. So I've got my drawing in front of me. I've got, I'm just checking you can see, I've got my sheet and I've got my pen, my borrow or my ballpoint pen. Then I'm going to take time drawing my picture on to here. Okay, I'm going to take time and I'm going to take care. If you push too hard, if you push too hard onto the um, onto this, it will um, it will tear it, and it makes such a fantastic noise as you're doing it. It's actually really lovely to draw on. So just enjoy it, get into it, get those marks going. You know, you've drawn it before, you can draw it again. And um, I'm going to make a video of me doing mine. All right. plate now. Now what's really important um, is that you just mustn't touch this when you're making when you're making this if you've touched it too much um, and it's really good to take it fresh from an absolutely brand new roll and just try not to touch any of the surface. What happens is if you touch it you put grease on it which means when we take our felt tip pen um, 
it's not going to sit on top of the tin foil. So if you are having problems with it actually going onto the surface, like this, see at the moment this is going beautifully, but I have done previous ones where the ink just will not sit on the tin foil. If that happens, you need to take that tin foil off, you need to get a new bit you haven't touched, fresh from the roll, and you need to do it again, and you need to um, keep it really clean. Once you've done that, you've got this, what you're going to do is you've got your um, a black felt tip. Um, what saucer you could use, you could try um, a whiteboard pen. They, they, they're very good at on surfaces, so whiteboard, your black whiteboard pen. Um, looking at the camera I did, as you can see, when I've applied, I've drawn on the um, black ink onto the plate. This is called a plate when you're printing. Um, I've drawn the ink, you can see where the ink is, where I've left it clear is where the light is. Um, so when you're applying your ink from your pen onto here, you need to think about where you want it to be dark and where you want it to be light. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to see where I want it. So I want it dark. I'm looking at my drawing, always referring to my drawing. I want it to still have that free feel, that um, lovely free feel of the lines. So I'm being quite sort of free with how I'm applying the ink. Um, I think that the important bit is where the tape is, those circles really, really show, because that's what we call the signifier. That's what shows it's a tape. Player. It's quite important when you're drawing something to give something for the viewer to really realise what it is um, that they're looking at. And then here I'm just going to run some ink across these and I'm hoping, and I'm hoping that when I print those indentations will be picked up. So along here, along here, and then the knobs at the top. Nice lot of ink in those because they're quite important. Again, there's signifiers, they're telling the viewer what it is, and um, these little knobs on here as well. And then here, the um, aerial, really, really important. Okay, so can you see? I've got lots of um, ink on there. Okay, the next part. All right, the next part, so I'm going to put that down, I'm going to touch it, I'm then going to take, so I've got my spoon ready, so you should have got a spoon, get your spoon ready, and then you are going to take one of your A4 pieces of paper. Okay, your damp sponge, remember it must be damp, if you do this, no, there shouldn't have be any water coming out of it. You're going to run, I'm just going to move this out of the way my plate ready not gonna get my sponge anywhere near my plate and I'm just gonna run just gonna gently wipe some water wipe some water not too much you keep wiping it it'll all go horrible you then place your plate in front of you got your spoon ready it's dry you place it over the top do not let it move you must keep it still and then with the spoon you roll the spoon like this, like you're rubbing it. Really, really rub up and down, round and round, really pushing hard and really, 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 really pushing hard. So exciting. I hope it works. Okay, and then when I pick it up, ta da! Hurrah! Oh, I'm so excited by this. I have my little tape player. And that's my first print. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some more ink on and see if I can get another print from it. Okay. Okay, I was just looking at some of the prints I've done. So there's my original drawing. This is my little print, which I'm really, really pleased with. But I had done some other ones. So here, I've got this one here. And then I did this one, and I've just been going over it with um, 
uh, fine liner and I'm just really pleased with the results so even if you think if you do if you have one really good one but then you do some and they don't work so well so I could go over this one with a fine liner and then I'm looking at when I had um, with this this will just be perfect if I work on top of it with a fine liner and rescue it but I've just done this and I'm really pleased with it so everything could be worked back into